Welcome to The Chic Show. Are you tired of spending a fortune on high-end designer items? Look no further. In today's video, I'll show you how to find high-end dupe pieces at thrift stores and upcycle them into stylish new items for a fraction of the cost. Today's video is part of Thrift Flip Road Trip, hosted by Kay and Trish with Crafting Cousins, Sammy with Unicorn Dust Designs, and today, Annie with Crafting with Indie Annie Jones. Let's start with this piece from Anthropology for $133. I purchased this frame at a thrift store for only a couple of dollars. The Anthropology piece says that it is a tray, but I'm going to make mine into wall art. I removed the backing from the frame and I traced out the oval onto some foam board. Once I cut out my oval, I'm going to mix up some paint. I used a combination of some bright pink and crimson by Waverly. I gave this foam board two good coats of paint or just until I felt like it had good coverage. Now for the frame, it had this kind of brown part in the middle and I definitely wanted that gold. So I'm using some of this gold leaf paint. It's actually very strong, so open some windows. I mainly painted on top of that brown part, but I did go around the rest of the frame as well so that it would blend nicely. What you wanna do, I'll do anything. Now back to the foam board. I'm going to be using this rub-on transfer. It's from one of the IOD transfer books and I cut out that B and I thought it would be perfect for this project. Once it had completely been transferred, I removed that backing sheet and then just rubbed over it just a bit, replaced it into the frame, and here we have a stunning high-end dupe for just a couple of dollars. Budget-friendly and beautiful. Next project is also inspired by something from Anthropology, this Mare C sign. It's priced at $24, but I'm going to make mine for about $1.50. I thrifted this piece of a drawer pool for 25 cents, and I'm using some of these chipboard letters from Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to cut them apart until I get the letters that I need. Give me love. Once I have all the letters I need, I did use my little finger sander to sand out any rough edges. Next, I'll be using some gold rub and buff, and I'm going to put that all over the drawer pool, and then I will also coat the letters. I did use the rub and buff along the side edges of the drawer pool and the letters because all of those will be visible. Once all my letters were finished, I went ahead and placed them onto the drawer pool so that I can kind of get my placement before I decided exactly where to glue them. I swear that I will stay here with I'm using tight bond quick and thick to glue the letters to the front. That middle part of the drawer pull does go in just a little bit, so it kind of makes those, uh, the E and the R, a little bit wonky, but that's just going to have to be okay. I did use a little craft stick to kind of move my letters around as I needed to. The inspiration piece did have some black or dark colored screws in the side. I did not have any, so I just painted some brass brads and used those. 
a stunning upcycle that may have very well ended up in the trash had I not rescued it from a garage sale. The third piece is inspired by a crown finial I saw on Etsy for $89. I got this metal piece at a thrift store or it may have even been a garage sale. I believe it is metal. It feels a little bit like ceramic, so I'm not sure what it's made of, but I'm going to cover the bottom of it with one of these cork stickers from Dollar Tree. I loved the gray color that it already was, so I'm just going to be using some gold rub and buff to highlight those raised areas. You can see how well this works, and a little bit goes a long way, so be very careful because if you get it in the wrong place, it's really hard to remove. I'm just going to continue on around that piece doing the very top and around the edges and the bottom part as well. Give me love, give me what do you think of these high-end dupe thrift flips so far? Let me know in the comments below. I have a special place in my heart for crowns and I think this turned out nicely. So today I spent about $5 for my thrifted dupes. Which one was your favorite? The B, the Merci, or the crown? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much to Sammy, Kay and Trish and Annie for hosting today's playlist. Be sure and check out their channels in the description box below, along with all the talented creators in the playlist. I hope that you'll hit that thumbs up button, the subscribe button, and that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Share the chic. Bye now.